Hello, we are Group 8, Oil Filter Puncture Tool. My name is Bryce Ruta, and I'll be working product development R&D for Stanley Black & Decker. I am Alex Martin, and I will also be working product development R&D for Stanley Black & Decker. And I'm Ryan Herring. I'll be working at Next Step Orthopedics as an R&D engineer. So our goal was to design and create a tool which pierces and drains the oil from an automotive oil filter prior to removal. This will greatly improve the cleanliness of this typically cumbersome process. So to put it simply, if you have a non-electric powered vehicle, it will require the routine maintenance of an oil change. During the service, oil filter replacement is a standard practice. Our tool looks to become an integrated part of that service and alleviate major pain points. This is the workshop we've been using to fabricate our project. Band saw to cut our material, a drill press, precision mini lathe to turn all of our parts, MIG and TIG welders to assemble, and a workbench. We will now demonstrate the removal of an oil filter without usage of our tool. As you can see, there is an excess amount of oil spillage on the vehicle underbody, as well as myself. Here is the final model, which we use to manufacture our oil filter puncture tool. It consists of 20 total components and features a steel tube body with various machine steel and aluminum components. Six of which have been purchased from outside vendors and all others have been machined and fabricated by ourselves. This component here is the retraction lever. It is pumped by hand to retract the internal spring and subsequently also this puncture bit. Once fully retracted, and the tool is placed up against the filter in the desired location, this trigger here is depressed, which releases the puncture bit into the filter. Here is a disassembled view of our model. These components here are called one-way bearings. They feature a cam-shaped inner mechanism which causes them to rotate on the shaft in only one direction. This action allows for the lever to be pumped multiple times to retract the spring. All components properly used in conjunction with each other allows for a reliable and effective tool. We will now demonstrate how easy and clean the filter removal process would be with the use of our tool. So take the magnetic base, place it in your drain pan, use the included T lever to set the tool. Then place the end of the tool up against the flat spot on the filter, press the release lever, and open your drain valve. After allowing a short amount of time to drain, close the ball valve and remove the tool. At this time, the filter can be spun off as usual while noticing a significant decrease in amount of oil spillage. So unfortunately, we encountered a design oversight, which was not made apparent until the late fabrication stage of our full strength prototype build. Um, this issue pertained to our release mechanism and the one-way bearings within and prompted us to divert to the T-handle design scene for demonstration purposes. If there were to be a continuation of this project, areas for improvement would include a hardened shaft for the pinion gear and one-way bearings as the bearings tended to mar the shaft under high torque conditions as well as an additional design revision involving the utilization of the one-way bearing in place of the ratcheting and release mechanism. Yeah, and a little bit about our bi-weekly meetings with Dave Peters. Um, I think they were really key on staying on track as well as maintaining organization throughout the entire project. Uh, he really gave us some helpful and useful insight into uh, not only the consumer market, but really understanding what can make a product successful. Um, and then just in general, all of us really did enjoy the experience of taking a conceptual design and turning it into a physical part. Um, kind of the challenges that we encountered along the way helped us uh, to not only grow as better engineers, um, but become better project man managers.
Uh, we believe these lessons will really serve useful tools in our engineering careers and really for the rest of our professional lives.